Hello and welcome to the Ingerati studio live at the European Utility Week in Barcelona. I'm Sofia and I'm joined by Santiago Blanco. Hi, Hi. Santiago, how are you? Hi, fine, you? Really, 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 really well, thank you very much. So Santiago, he's the director and country manager at DNBGL and he's also a member of the steering committee at Future Ed. So Santiago, let's start. So what have been uh, the latest project, uh, progress sorry, in the Spain uh, smart grid sector and also how digitalized is the Spanish uh, electricity grid. Okay, oh, interesting. In Spain, I think that uh, 10, 20 years ago, the, the, all the electric companies worked strongly to develop the traditional high voltage uh, implementation of SCADAs and control. No? But the, the big challenge always was in the mid and low voltage mm -hmm. level. No? That, uh, as most of the countries in the past, we, we, we haven't had any kind of digitalization. No? In the last 10 years and until two, three years ago, in Spain, we have a strong implementation of renewable. Perhaps today, 40, 50 percent of the renewable, the energy from renewables, is directly connected in, at the distribution network level. So the operation of the network today is much more difficult or challenging than in the past. And Spain, decide, Spain decided uh, six years ago to be a pioneer in the deployment of smart meters. Mm -hmm. and fortunately, the technological and functional definition of the smart metering project included the secondary substation, the mid-low voltage substations. No? And this was a great, a great idea because today we have almost 70% of the customers, more than 20 million of customers, all of them connected with smart meters, but at the same time, all from the substation and the secondary substation, because of the way we communicate the customers, we have the secondary substation, at least more than 200,000 secondary substation, and in the next two years we will have 100% of the secondary substation monitored, controlled, and then digitalized. Digitalized. But, but, we always have a but. There is always, yes. The big challenge now is what to do with this data. Mm, exactly. And this is the real digitalization in terms of impact for the customer. Right? So I think that we are proud of what we have been doing the next year, last year, and now we have a great challenge to really take to advantage really take of, advantage. of all this data. And also to protect the data, because I guess well, it's quite yes. important well, as well. Cyber security for us is, is a, a, a big, big priority as a company and also as a member of Futuroid. And we think that we are advancing properly, but you're right, you're right. It's a big, big risk and we need to take it carefully. Of course. So, um, where are you seeing um, the most disruptive innovation in the Spanish uh, market? Well, I think that now most of the countries are working in the same line than us. But when we started four or five years ago, all the reference in the market or most of the reference in the market were related with proprietary solutions. Mm -hmm. Where a manufacturer or a technology is the response of the project from end to end. No? usually with prices higher than an efficient and sustainable uh, cost. I think that the, the big challenge of the, of the definition of the project was to develop an open and interoperable protocol and approach to give the possibility to more than 20 different manufacturers, Spanish companies and European and global companies, to participate in compete, not only at the smart meter level, also at the concentrator level and secondary substation level, and today we have a deployment very, very efficient in terms of cost, very, very, very uh, good in terms of performance, mm -hmm. and especially from a business perspective, with more than 20 different companies competing and participating, and not only competing, collaborating, collaborating. because I think that digitalization, digital world, is mainly about collaboration. And for us as company, DMBGL, we, we feel very comfortable with the role we play, collaborating with others, and also enduring the interoperability of be between the different players. Understood. So if I speak about uh, your role at FutureEd, uh, as an association, I guess you've seen a lot of um, innovation in the Spanish market. Can you tell us some of the success story uh, in the Spanish uh, utility market? Well, I, I think that um, one of the, uh, of the goals or, 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 or the objectives of FutureEd is to promote the development of Spanish technology. Mm -hmm. uh, in Futurei, we are electric companies, we are manufacturers, we are advisory and also universities. Okay. And, and, the, and the, the main main goal, the original goal of a technological platform like Futurei is to develop local or, or, or Spanish knowledge mm -hmm. and, and technology. No? And I, I can say that uh, together with the success of the big project, we are very, very proud of this big participation, the key participation of several Spanish companies, big companies, uh, I mean, say companies, and that today are present. 
perhaps showing a, 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 a participation or showing a, a presence in an event like this, much bigger than the traditional position of, of Spain in the technological world. Understood. So, of course, we're here at the European Utility Week. Can you tell me why did you came here? Uh, to meet who? Uh, yeah. To speak with who? Well, globally, we in the MBGL, we, are, we have been present in, in the Utility Week in Europe for the last years always. Oh, no? Okay. But to, now we are in Spain, and I am in Spain. Uh, and for us, uh, we push it, especially the company to be especially present in this event of Utility Week in Spain because we think that the, 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 the Spanish reference this and also the play we the role we play in the Spanish project has been very important and it's very good for us as a company at DMBGL to show to other countries, to other companies, not only in Europe, also in Asia or in America, how the, the, our, not only the Spanish story, also our position, our reference. Uh, as, as a key player in this project. Of course, and also to see how the other countries yes, are actually uh, doing and to see if we are on the same line yes, and everything. Exactly. So brilliant, and I think it's a great place to take this interview yes, to sure. an end. Thank you very much, Santiago, for You're taking welcome. the time. And please remember that this interview and other interview of the European Utility Week are available uh, to watch on our Ingerati YouTube channel. Thank you for listening and goodbye.